Hi guys, it's me again, Moly Kun. And this week I got a letter in the post. It came in this box. I'm not going to show you the front of it because it tells you my address. And it had this letter enclosed. Thank you for help offering to help choose tiers for our new range. Your feedback will help to shame the future of company I'm not going to mention as they're not sponsoring this video. <laughs> We've enclosed three teas, which is a lie, but I'll explain that in a moment. All we want you to do is brew two teaspoons per cup of each tea, again that's a lie, in freshly boiled water for three to five minutes, taste them, and head to, sorry to take the survey, and to answer a few questions about your experience. It's loose leaf tea, lice, <laughs> so we've included a few drawstring tea bags, which were these lovely, cute little pouches which I haven't used because I have a proper infuser but I think I might keep them for something else because they're lovely little pouches they're quite well made and they even have little small strings as well to seal them up so that they're really good anyway in case you don't have an infuser I do have an infuser Survey will, op will be open until Sunday the 30th of July, so I have one week left to do this from the day I'm recording this video. So you'll have plenty of time to enjoy the tea at your leisure before giving feedback. There's enough for a few cups, feel free to share with a friend or family member. I thought I'd share it with you. We look forward to hearing your thoughts. Very best wishes, company team. So... If you don't, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a Brit, and there's nothing we Brits like more than a good cup of tea. And sadly, these are nothing like it. Because in order to be called a tea, it must contain Camellia sinensis, which is the tea bush. These do not contain any of that, so they are what's called infusions. Fruit infusions, from what I can gather from the ingredients. So, I've got the three here, I've brewed them already. We're going to get started. The first one is this one, which smelt of coconut and something rather citrusy, which wasn't going down too well. In, it doesn't tell me the name of the blend, which companies usually do. And they usually call them something like Strawberry Serenade or Mountain Sage or something silly like that. Um, but anyway, this one has apple pieces, hibiscus, blackberry, Pineapple and coconut. And I can smell the coconut, but it's not smelling too pleasant. It's come out a rather pleasing yellowy orange colour, quite translucent, which is a good sign. Ooh. I'm getting the coconut, I'm also getting the citrus and the pineapple. And some vague appleness in there as well. And um, it tastes exactly as it smells. Not too unpleasant. But um Yes, yeah, not I don't think it's one that I'd choose to drink if I had to. So that's number one. Number two, I when I opened this packet I loved the smell of it. I got an instant waft of blueberries and it was I love blueberries and it contains apple rosehip hibiscus lemongrass chokeberry what the hell is chokeberry blackberry and blueberries I'm gonna have to look up what chokeberry is now bear with me one moment Chokeberry is a genus of the citrus shrubs and it was a Kea native to North America. Oh. Oh. So it's some sort of North American berry then. The more you know. And this is a gorgeous deep red colour. 
sort of like deep sort of ruby crimson which is my favourite colour from Fruit Infusions ooh uh, yeah that's definitely tastes of just below par quality berry infusions yeah oh yeah not really getting any distinguishing flavours from any of them yeah I'm not getting any of the ingredients I'm just getting this generic subpar berry infusions flavour so yeah I think number one is better number one's better I'm gonna say but neither of them are really really exciting me which is a shame because I love tea so now the last one interesting smell it's can't quite put my finger on what it is but it, it's it's quite sweet anyway, it contains apple peppermint hibiscus lime strawberries blackberries and beetroot I've noticed this company likes to throw beetroot in generic infusions <laughs> And it's not the first ingredient that springs to mind when you're making something, is beetroot. Um, it's come out a sort of purpley brown colour. It looks vaguely like black tea. That's probably the beetroot now that's given it that colour. So. Ooh, I'm getting some. Ooh, that sort of refreshing palate cleansing tingle we get after after having some peppermint. I'm getting that as an aftertaste. I'm not getting anything from the immediate. It's what you would call a low note in <laughs> sort of connoisseur circles. Yeah, nothing immediately, and there's no high notes, but then there's that cleansing peppermint low note to it. I'd have to say I think number three is my favourite, despite it not tasting or anything. <laughs> the peppermint wins me over. So, there we are. That was me testing these three infusions in order of favourite to least favourite. Number three, the pepperminty one. Then number one with the coconut. And finally number two with the chokeberry. So I should be submitting my feedback to the company in the next hour or so <laughs> after I finished uploading this and sorting it out. So Thank you for watching. I know it's probably not the most interesting video for you, but <laughs> thank you. I'm just going to go back to number one. That's better. Now, I did promise I'll give a shout out to somebody. So, shout out to Jelly Marmot. Go check out his channel. He does some gaming videos, I believe it was meant to be gaming videos. Yeah, gaming videos so is like some Grand Theft Auto stuff on his channel. So, so go check that out. Also, I'm going to be taking taking part in some live streams with Mr. Skids. We're going to be streaming uh, live streaming some D and D. I'm going to be playing a drow elf warlock called Isaran. It's going to be interesting. I've somehow made a pact with the goddess of chaos and dead, so <laughs> I don't fancy my charges of surviving too long. Still, it should, it's going to be fun. Go check out Mr. Skids's Twitch. Make sure you follow him on there so you can get notifications of when we're streaming. So until then, thank you for watching. See you next week with Bender for another film review. Bye, guys. <laughs>